Hello friends and welcome back to the Christmas special. This is episode 10 out of 12. Today we're making German Stollen. It is a sweet bread flavored with cardamom, nutmeg, dried fruit and a log of marzipan inside. And after it's baked, we drench it with butter and sprinkle it with loads of sugar. So what's not to love? And it's not too difficult to make either. A little bit of elbow grease and a lot of waiting. So continue watching if you want to learn how to make it. And as always, you'll find a full recipe with all the details down in the description box. So first things first, let's see what equipment we need. You'll need a tray with some non-stick paper, a bowl to mix your dough in, scales, dough scraper, temperature probe, a brush, a little sieve and a zester. You don't need a fancy one like this, just use a fine grater. Now on to the ingredients, strong white bread flour, water, an egg yolk, yeast, salt, sugar, some soft butter, you need some orange zest, milk powder, nutmeg, cardamom, some sliced toasted almonds, some mixed fruit, marzipan and powdered sugar and some melted butter for brushing. Now my kitchen is only 20 degrees celsius but I still want to refrigerate all my ingredients, the flour, the water, everything has to be cold. This bread will take quite a lot of kneading and will warm up. So let's start making our dough. Get the water, add the yeast, salt, sugar, milk powder, cardamom, nutmeg, the egg yolk and the orange zest. And then give it all a good mix. You want to dissolve any large sugar crystals and hydrate the yeast. And once everything is well combined, add the flour and continue mixing with your dough scraper this time. And if the dough is a little bit dry, then continue on by hand. You want to mix it in the bowl until it's one cohesive piece, to avoid making mess on your table. And once it's come together nicely, tip it out and you start kneading it. Now pop a can of elbow grease, because this will take a while. So the first stage is to knead it with the regular kneading method. What I like to do is press down and forwards with the heel of my right hand, then using the fingers of my left hand I fold the piece of dough under the heel of my right hand, then turn and repeat. You want to do this for around 3 minutes. We want to get some gluten going before we add the butter. And once the dough is not too sticky anymore, it's become nice and stretchy, we can spread it out on the table. Now there's no nice way of doing this, just grab your soft butter and slap it on there. The next step is called tearing in, so just fold your dough up, squeeze it, squish it, tear it, pull it. You want to mash it up like this for around 30 seconds or so. You can grab your scraper to pull all the mess together in one bowl. Then, continue kneading, just as you did before. It will feel super soggy to begin with, but if you continue it will start coming together. After adding the butter, we want to continue kneading for around 6 more minutes. You need to have good gluten development before adding the fruit and the nuts. The dough has become nice and smooth, it's stretchy, now we can spread it out once more on the table and add the sliced almonds and the mixed fruit. If we would have added these earlier, it would be impossible to create any gluten in this dough. The fruit and the nuts basically slice through the structure as we are kneading it. And they will do that now as well. But because we already created some gluten during the first 9 minutes of kneading, it will not be as bad from here on in. So spread the fruit out, press it in, fold the dough up and continue kneading. Go slowly now, otherwise you'll make a massive mess in your kitchen. This stuff is flying around everywhere. Now we have to continue kneading for around 6 more minutes. And it will feel like there's no progress. You'll feel like the dough is quite sticky and there's nothing happening. But trust me, you keep at it, it'll become smoother and less sticky. And 6 minutes later, we can see the dough is stretchy and ready for the first proof. So in total, we mixed for around 15 minutes. A little Christmas workout for you. Now shape your dough into a bowl, place it into a bowl and take the temperature. If we had not refrigerated the flour, the fruit and all the ingredients, this would have been 35 degrees by now. But 26 to 27 is exactly what we're looking for. Now cover this baby up and let it ferment for 3 to 3.5 three hours. It will not puff up massively, this is quite a dense bread. But if you think that your one hasn't moved at all, then just leave it for another hour. There's nothing worse than underproofed bread. But I think this one's just about right. When I press it, it feels soft. When I poke it with my finger, it leaves an indentation. 
Now tip it out on the table, smooth side down, and shape it into an oval. Stollen is really one of the easiest breads to shape. Make sure it's nice and even, then grab your marzipan and roll it to the length of the loaf. Now place it right on top of it and fold the dough over. You don't really have to pinch it shut, just fold it over, but don't fold it totally in half because you want to leave a tiny edge on the bottom. That is kind of a traditional shape for it. it looks like a German Christmas taco. And it's as simple as that, you've shaped your Stollen. Now grab a tray with some non-stick paper, place it right on top of it, we can start the final fermentation. So if you don't look at the fact that it took us 15 minutes of kneading, this is quite an easy bread to make. Now during the final fermentation, you want to preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius with a fan on. Now cover your loaf up and leave it to proof for 3-3.5 three three hours. Again, if your kitchen is cooler, it may take longer. If it's warmer, it may take less time. You want to see it visibly puffed up. When you poke it, it should leave an indentation. Now get this bad boy in the oven, it should take around 40-50 to 50 minutes. If you're not sure if it's done or not, take the temperature. If in the middle, it reads 94 degrees Celsius or 200 Fahrenheit, it's ready. And look at that, it's nice and soft. Now, final step, we need to douse it with butter. And don't be shy here, just brush it all over, thick coat, top and bottom. I think in larger productions, they just dunk the whole loaf in liquid butter. Now sprinkle it all over with some icing sugar. A lot of the sugar will get absorbed with the butter and will create a crust on the loaf. And that's exactly what you want. After this, you can let it cool down and you can sprinkle it with icing sugar once again just before cutting. So that's your German Stollen. Quite cool, right? We are nearing the end of the Christmas series. This is episode number 10 out of 12. Check out my Christmas playlist where I have 12 different breads from 12 different countries. If you're not in the Stollen, or if it's a little bit too much effort, then I'm sure you'll find a bread that you'll like there. Not all bread takes that much kneading, you know? And as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, write them down in comments. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. My channel is full of bread baking videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.